We made significant progress over the past month and a half, releasing three updates to Divi 5, fixing over 200 bugs, and stabilizing the public alpha. New bug reports have slowed to a trickle, and this would be a good time to consider using Divi 5 to build new websites if you enjoy the experience. There are still bugs here and there, but we're fixing them faster than they're being reported, and overall, the experience feels great. We're now focused on fixing bugs related to migration and backward compatibility so that we can give you the green light to migrate existing websites. At this stage, we only recommend using Divi 5 on new websites that don't utilize many legacy modules. We've also resumed working on Divi 5's remaining features. A few features such as WooCommerce modules must be filled in before progressing to the beta phase. This brings me to today's important topic. We're going to switch things up and perform a feature swap. Throughout Divi 5's development, we prioritized features required to ensure all Divi websites remain functional when upgrading. The remaining features, which are UI related, don't affect your website's functionality and are not upgrade blockers. They are great features, but aren't required for your website to function. Some features, such as quick actions, aren't very popular. Others, like extend styles, have been replaced by another feature, in this case, presets. We're at the stage where several of Divi 5's remaining features fall into this category. Great, but redundant or rarely used. Meanwhile, we know you need features such as flexbox grids, customizable breakpoints, nested rows, and improved accessibility. We are at a fork in the road where we can diverge from Divi 4 and perform a feature swap. Swapping Divi's least used features for Divi's most requested. And that's what we're going to do to give you the features you need sooner without extending Divi 5's roadmap. After we release Divi 5, we'll consider reintroducing some of the features we swapped out. In the meantime, you'll watch Divi 5 make substantial leaps forward over the next few months. And early adopters will enjoy the features they have been waiting for. Once we conquer the remaining migration bugs and the full force of Divi's development team is working on features, you will be impressed by how fast Divi 5 improves. All the tedious and time-consuming work of the past two years is behind us. We built the new foundation and fixed the bugs. It's time to deliver on our promise to sprint forward and push the boundaries. Feature development will ramp up in February, kicking off an exciting new year. We will hit you left and right with feature updates across our services, which will be much different than last year when we worked behind the scenes on a product that wasn't publicly available. Don't forget to follow and subscribe so you never miss a thing, and I'll see you in the next update.